It may come as absolutely no surprise that I have a hard time keeping still. Physical activity has been a lifeline to my mental clarity, my emotional stability, as well as my physical health. But exercise doesn't have to be go, go, go and intense all the time. I have tried really hard to embrace traditional yoga classes, but my brain just can't seem to get that slow down feeling. Thankfully, there are classes out there that appeal to my personality without compromising stretch and strength components. Pio is one of them, and there's a new one on the block, Broga. Broga yoga. Say it 10 times fast, Broga yoga. It was developed for men, but I absolutely love it. It is strong, it is energetic, it is challenging. It works my core, it strengthens my muscles, it reduces stress, and it focuses on functional fitness. And for those of you who just cannot get into the groove of a traditional yoga class, this is your thing. But it doesn't give up that flexibility component and you still get to lay back on your mat and fall asleep without someone yelling, Mom! So Andrea at Songda Yoga is certified to teach me broga. So you're gonna take me through a mm -hmm. few flows. Are they called flows? They're called chunks. So the, yeah. Broga. It's kind of a funny chunks. word. It's called okay. chunks. So <laughs> the language has changed yes, a little bit. For sure. Okay. For sure. All right. Yeah, the, so the reason the language has changed is because um, we're trying to recruit guys to okay. come and take these classes, right? They don't want to talk about opening their heart. They don't want to talk about... <laughs> we would like for the men to open their hearts. We would, and we're still going to open their heart. We're just not going to call it that. So okay. it's, it's just a little bit different. So so maybe like love fest no. instead of open... No. No. Okay. All right. Take me through. Okay, so let's start actually on our back. So in every yoga class, we always talk breath, right? We always talk about we never want to run out of breath. We always want to stay within our limits. Why did you start teaching this? So I find, I've been teaching for a long time now, and I find that 90% of the women, people that come to my class are women. Uh -huh. And I think that guys need this just as much as women, if not more. Oh, they because do. Because they do the strength work, but they don't do the stretch. We want to be able to make it not only I don't know, appealing to men, but we want it to be effective. So yeah, we could do some other stuff and we could call it broga and we could make it, you know, this is yoga for guys with no yoga in it, but this right. is still yoga. Well, We're just gonna add some other aspects. Do you find that if they take this particular class, this mm -hmm. style of yoga, then that even improves their other workouts. Absolutely, I would think. absolutely. I think all styles of yoga really are good for cross training, right? Okay. So bring them both knees, give them both a hug. Oh, Sun so if nice. I take a class, am mm -hmm. I gonna be surrounded by men? Well, you know, <laughs> right now for me, it's half and half. So there are half really? women there, half men there, yep. Go ahead and rock all the way up to sit. <sighs> Hello. Yeah, okay. and then come all the way forward, hands and knees. So um, only because, and I think it's good for women too, women need to build the strength, right? Most yes. women have the flexibility, they don't have the upper body strength especially. So with this, at the risk of offending, right? <laughs> would this not be considered real yoga? It, well, I'm sure there are people out there that would say, this is not real yoga, you're not speaking in Sanskrit, you're not doing okay. the ohms at the beginning or the end, things like that, but honestly, it's to me it's yoga I've been teaching yoga a long time and the more that we do it the more that we expose people to it the healthier they're gonna be whether you call it yoga or you call it stretching so awesome. a traditional yoga class is how long usually 90 minutes Wow right okay but that's a lot of intro that's a lot of warm-up that's a lot of relaxation at the end okay this is just accelerated so it'd be an hour for a an class. hour class right squeeze those Most elbows people in tend to work lift. out for an hour they do, and honestly, I think it goes really, really fast and lower yeah. down. Yeah, I think guys are really sometimes intimidated by a yoga class because they walk in, we're both wearing yoga clothes. I know, we've got you know, like fashion up. happening. I know, right. So guys are gonna walk in in their shorts and t-shirts and they're gonna be like, what am I doing here? Right. right. And I don't want people to feel that way. So it's really, the all of the postures are the same, but it's scripted yeah. differently. The yes. environment's a little different. It is. I play different kind of music. It's upbeat music. It's ah. it's more modern music. It's okay. not real flowy instrumental music in the background. Okay. So it's a little different. It's kind okay. of fun. Right hand comes down. How should I feel after a broga class? Sweaty. 
Oh. <laughs> so we're starting off slow, right? Yeah. But now we're going to start getting into the other stuff. In this class, these guys, their hamstrings, their backs, all of those yeah. things are going to be tighter. Right. Right? Especially if they're not already yoga people. Right. Bend your knees a little bit. Now take your hips further back. Now soften the chest. Oh. Right? Doesn't that feel great? Yeah. So you take a little bit of that out. So there's some of these modifications that you can do that just make it a little bit more accessible for everybody. Okay. Okay. And then look forward. Slide into that high plank again. And then lower all the way down. Bend those knees. So a lots bit. of planks. Lots of planks. Okay. Lots of moving. Lots of moving. Mm -hmm. So yep. would would you say one of the biggest differences is that you're not holding a posture as long or there are a couple occasions where we're doing stretches in the beginning and the end where we hold it just as long as we would in a normal class. Okay. But I have to say and I'll show you next. Oh, great. We, <laughs> we go into some of these things that would not be seen in a traditional yoga class <laughs> at all. Yoga burpees, <sighs> right? So everybody has their version of a burpee. There is a yoga version of a I burpee. I do love burpees. I'm not sure about these. Well, they're a little <laughs> maybe more controlled. Yeah, that's probably why. Right? Yeah. Like this is a little bit slower. You do go with the breath. Mm -hmm. So let me show you a couple options. I do tend to have to tell men that I teach to slow down and they struggle right. with slowing down. They I do. struggle with slowing they down. They do. So the breath is a good indicator of that, right? So okay. you, you want to say inhale and exhale and use that as, as these certain moves. Okay. It's a good way to slow it. All right. So when I do them, I inhale, reach up, exhale, fold down, touch the floor, jump all the way back, and then look forward, inhale, all the way back up. And then all the way back down. Oh, we're doing it again. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then inhale, all the way back up. And then exhale. And then inhale. And then we do that for about 20 seconds. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Breathe. That's about like 10 training seconds. right there. Right. It's Tabata. Exactly, it's exactly what it's it Tabata. is. Tabata. 20 exactly seconds of something really hard. Right. 10 seconds. Six rounds. Six rounds? Yes. Wait, six rounds of 20 seconds of burpees? Yes. With 10 second breaks. Wow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that after the show's over. Yeah, it's a little much, right? <laughs> That's but amazing. It gets the heart flowing. Yes. And then after we get the heart flowing, we start sweating and we're like, okay, I'm in this okay, now. But let more. me ask you, the person who can't jump back. Yes. Step. Stepping back. Always modifications. Always, always perfect. Yes, perfect. And for those people that are flexible, yes. maybe a little stronger, add that push up at the bottom. So we right, let's down, jump, push up then jump back up and lift, right? Wow. So you can make this as intense as you want it to be I for see. every student. Okay. And you can see how hard this would be if you were, your heart was pumping, yes. you're going, you're sweating, so and you're is, like, okay, stop. <laughs> this is towards the end of class. So exactly. I'm assuming class follows a certain st structure. Chunks. Yes. yes. So what, name for me the different yes. chunks. So like there's that. always a warm so up. so funny to say that. Yeah, there's always a warm up. Yep. There's always that first flow that kind of gets you moving a little bit more, gets the heart rate okay. going. Um, there's that hit training. Yeah. Right? So it's either a burpee or it's a breath of fire, which is super fun. Breath or, of fire. Right. So it's using the breath to really heat you up and get those big muscles engaged. Okay. Okay. And then we do another kind of flow, which is a little bit more traditional yoga, which would be like a warrior two. Aha. Uh -huh. To a reverse warrior. Okay. To a side bend. You know, these kind of things. And we would do that on both sides. And then we come down and we do some relaxing stretches. We get to lay down at we the end. We get to lay down. To so lay. how has this been received from some of your traditional yoga students? Some of them love it. Some of them, you know, they're not really interested in, in building up that sweat, building up sure. that strength. But some of them love it because they feel like they're missing out on a little bit of that, I want to say cardio, you okay. know, or that um, really sweaty class because I'll teach a yoga class that is really sweaty and pretty tough yes but it's nothing like doing a burpee in my opinion I think a lot of people are so busy throughout their whole day you know they're always on their phone they're always on the computer they're always have some kind of media going um, and as mothers we both understand that you know we're always needed by somebody yep you know and as business owners we're always needed by somebody so there's never that time to just let it all go and relax yep this kind of forces that I think learning to let go of all that just for those few minutes every day or whenever you come to class is really, really important. Do because the men fall asleep? Have you ever had a snore? Oh yeah, we get snores all the time. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't mind. <laughs> if it gets too loud, I just go over and like nudge them a little bit. Oh, to that's <laughs> shut awesome. Down. But, yeah, it's really awesome. okay. It's okay because they're exhausted. Full you know, acceptance. obviously. Yeah, they're Bro. fully. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> they are exhausted like most of us are by the time they get to a class. Roga Yoga.
it is not just for the bros. If it's athletic yoga that you're looking for, you need to give this class a try for the health of it. Whew.